happy Saturday, everyone. Yankee, the real deal messiah here with you. A uh, very important weather video to get into in the tropics. And we're going to get into it as we are going to be talking about Invest 91L. And that was something that I pointed in the video yesterday that this was going to be called Invest 91L. And you can see over here in the satellite imagery uh, satellite in imagery and other weather analysts um, indicates that there is a low pressure system located over the Bay of Kapati and we're talking about this one right over here and we all know what this was called today by the National Hurricane Center and it does have a 70% chance of development here so for now, you know, the connection that is associated with this Invest 91 is disorganized, as you can see. And we will uh, zoom out the image here for you. Uh, just give me a second here. And, um, and you can see it right here on our um, radar imagery. And what's going to happen with this is all indications from... The model guidance, and by the way, this is from uh, the weather bell, is that Invest 91L will likely develop into a tropical depression and then a tropical storm once we get into about Monday or Tuesday. And for now, though, I think that we'll probably see slow development because the energy and the moisture from what was once Invest 90L, and y'all remember, Invest 90L was right over here in these pots. Um, it's going to push to the south and combine with the circulation, energy, and moisture of Invest 91L, and this should take about a day or so to occur. And by Monday, it looks possible that Invest 91L will start to head up to the north, and you can see it right here um, from the Bay of Capati and the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, where it will likely develop and strengthen. Now, the question then becomes how much Invest 91L will strengthen before it makes landfall? And we're talking about late Wednesday, early Thursday, over the southwestern parts of Louisiana, and you can see a lot of the spread right here has a landfall and um, storm and we will talk about whether this could be a tropical storm whether this could be a hurricane we will get into that uh, throughout this video and of course you know we can't forget about where we are when it comes to the wind shear um, if you look at the environmental conditions over the western and northwestern Gulf of Mexico during the first half of next week Right now, you can see there is a lot of wind shear, but what's going to happen with this wind shear, this wind shear is actually going to come up, and it's going to move it right here, and it's going to be favorable for strengthening. But on one hand, uh, wind shear values are likely to be favorable for strengthening, and obviously, we all know with the Gulf waters in the Gulf of Mexico, and I will show it to you right here, um... There we go. You can see, look at that water here in the Gulf of Mexico and where this storm could actually be. Look at this. That's where the hottest of the water is. Um, and that is why you got to support strengthening here. On, on one hand, there's likely to be quite a bit of dry air on the western side of the system. And the reason for that, and let me go back into the wind shear value maps here. Um, let me just take this off here, and you can see why you got to be concerned with this wind shear, this red right over here, um, this red, um, and then you got a cold front that's going to be pushing uh, towards the Texas coast the rest of this weekend, and any dry air will likely hinder quick strengthening. So. That's one of the reasons why you won't see a major hurricane out of this. And first and foremost, it isn't going to take much at all for Invest 91L to become a depression and then become Tropical Storm Francine. 
And because of this, I urge all interests along coastal Texas and coastal Louisiana to prepare for at least tropical storm impacts from Tuesday to Thursday. And my take, though, is that if S91L will slowly involve, and I'll show you the HWARF model here, and you can see this is what I'm talking about right here. Um... As you get into the weekend, and you can see right here, it's still stuck right here. But look at this. By the time you get into Monday, this is already going to be a tropical depression when it's located east of the coast of eastern Mexico. And beyond this, the forecast tracked and the strength of Invest 91 it becomes a little more uncertain with guidance. So what I'm going to show you here, and I'm going to actually freeze it right here to Tuesday. I want to show you the European model. Now, this is the European model, the fast one on tropical tibbets. So what the European is actually doing, and this is where we are Tuesday. It's a 1003 system right here. It's forecasting a slowly strengthening storm, and it's heading... Um, It's heading right towards the Texas and Louisiana border. So this is Thursday morning right here. So by the time we get into Thursday morning, they had this as a tropical storm, a strong tropical storm. But on the other hand, when you look at the GFS model, and this is the updated GFS model right here, the 18Z that just came out. Look what happens over here. It strengthens to a 989 right here. So that's an indication that this could be um, a hurricane. And look what it does. Um, has a landfall right over here. So we'll stick that Thursday morning. So we had Texas, Louisiana board on the European. We have this on the GFS. The Icon model. Latest update from the Icon model. And look at this right here. Look what the icon is doing. A little bit farther east than what the GFS has. So this is Wednesday night. So it's actually quicker. And look at look what we're talking about with the spread. GFS icon. GFS icon. A little bit east on that one. And um, this is the European, by the way. Uh, let's show the, well, the European artificial forecasting system, and this is what everyone has been using while tracking the storm, and look at this one right here, too. Um, same thing with the icon. So the point here is GFS icon in the European, they're showing a faster strengthening storm that heads right into Lafayette and Morgan City uh, by Wednesday night, Thursday morning. And this is why this is a challenging forecast because it all depends on the upper level pattern over the northern Gulf of Mexico. And that supports a storm traveling from southwest to northeast to be in a zone of very low wind shear. So on the other hand, a storm heading from south to north would be battling wind shear a little more. And that means that the further west that 91L tracks, the weaker that it's going to probably be. But on the other hand, if you have a track that is further east, and we'll just use the European, um, European and the GFS as an example. See, if you have a track like this, this is where I kind of believe that this will be weaker. But if the GFS icon and the artificial uh, forecasting system of the European are further east, that's going to lead to Invest 91 staying over the Gulf of Mexico longer with an environment that's favorable for strengthening. And because of this, we see a stronger storm if it tracks further east. And my thoughts here is I do think that the center of what will be 
Francine will probably head. Uh, this is what I kind of think, and I'll just use the hurricane. I don't buy the H one here. I, I, I'm gonna say it like this. I don't buy this. I'm not going to go with the h wolf. So I'm going to go and I'm going to use what I like to simply. I'll try to draw this out for you. I'm going to say you're going to have a track. My track is simply like this right here, right into South Central. Um right into the south central coast of Louisiana uh, for a landfall that is going to occur Wednesday night somewhere on the western side of uh, Vermilion Bay as a 50 to 75 mile per hour tropical storm. And with that being said, I do think that this system will be strengthening right through landfall. And because of this, it's possible that this could be an H1 hurricane with 75 to 85 mile per hour wind gusts. And also with this system potentially strengthening right through landfall, it means that stronger wind gusts will be able to mix down to the ground quite easily. Much like what we saw when Beryl uh, made landfall back in uh, early April. So, I mean, early July, not early April, early July. My apologies. So, um, for those of you that live, I would say from the Texas coast and especially the Louisiana coast, you should monitor the progress of the system very closely. And my advice to you along the, uh, the Louisiana coast is make sure that you do have your hurricane plans ready, uh, just in case, and also be ready for at least tropical storm conditions and very possibly hurricane conditions from Wednesday into Thursday. Now, for you people along the Texas coastline, and I know I do have a lot of followers in Texas, um, I think areas along the upper Texas coast, they're at most risk from the system from Tuesday through Wednesday. So, I don't have any flooding maps or storm surge maps in this video, but definitely I will have it uh, tomorrow. And I will say um, flooding from surge and rainfall, that is your highest threat along the upper Texas coast. So uh, because of the fact that you're going to be on the western side of Invest 91, um, the wind impacts are not going to be that bad. You're not on the windy side of the storm. You're going to be more on the rainy side of it. But if you're in su in the southern Louisiana coast, where where you can see a lot of the spread right from here, um, that's where you're going to be on the uh the bad part of the storm. So, bottom line is simply is this: I am keeping very close tabs on the progress of Invest ninety one L. Um, definitely we'll have many more updates in the coming days. Uh, my advice is that those of you along coastal Texas and especially coastal Louisiana, you got to monitor this. So something that we will be watching, like I said, and of course I will have another, uh, weather update for you guys. So I'm thinking tomorrow I am going to be doing another, um, weather video for you guys so make sure to check that out and um we'll have it tomorrow all right so until then have a great night everyone and be prepared and of course you know disclaimer here these are just my thoughts uh in making decisions please uh consult the uh the national hurricane center your local emergency management agency uh, the National Weather Service for the most up-to-date information uh, regarding your area. So, um, thank you for watching this video.